again, Afghanistan, place like that, and we see them doing things like taking young boys. This is a family show. I'm not going to elaborate. They'll take young boys and basically sell them off to be entertainment for men. And I don't mean in hidden corners somewhere. This is kind of like an open thing that's done in certain parts of Afghanistan. And you hear about that, you're probably puking in your trash can right now. Me too. And we think to ourselves, what? What do we say about them? Those barbarians, backwards, evil, it's demonic. All that's fair. All that's true. All that's fair. Backwards, barbarians, evil, demonic, all, all that's very true. Let's talk about another country, though. You're not going to believe this. There is a country out there. They have doctors in this country. And they'll take a 12-year-old boy, these doctors, and they'll take him in, and they'll chop off his twig and bits and inject him with hormones because he decided he wants to be a woman. I'm not even kidding. And not only will these doctors do this, they don't string him up and you know, hang him from the gallows. They actually pay the doctors to do it in this country. It's wild. It's wild. Uh, the same country, get this, this same country, if a woman gets pregnant, and let's say she doesn't want to have a baby, doctors will just carve that baby out of her like a Thanksgiving turkey. Not only do they not get arrested, they're paid for it. I know, it's wild. It's wild there's a country out there like this. I can't believe it. Um, they're entertainment. In this, the same country, this is the same country we're talking about here, they're entertainment. They have these huge corporations and entertainment industries. And they're aimed at kids. They make kids TV shows and kids movies. And they even have a kids theme park in this country. I'm not even kidding. They have a kids theme park where all the kids will come at this kids theme park. And this corporation who does this, makes the movies and runs the theme park, they think kindergartners should learn about transsexuals. I think you know where I'm going, right? That's not Afghanistan. That's us. That's the United States of America. How do we let that happen? In what universe do we allow ourselves to let these monsters take over every part of our society and they take our most precious, innocent people and they just destroy them and we let it happen? And I'm not pointing fingers at you. I am more pointing fingers at myself than anything else. I've been part of the right for, gosh, I ran for Congress back in... 2008, I believe. So that's, what, 14 years? So I've been part of this. I clearly haven't done enough. Well, you haven't done enough to stop this. How did this happen? How did we let this happen? How did we let a bunch of circus freaks educate our kids, entertain our kids? Not only do we not prosecute them, we pay them for the privilege. Have you, have you seen this stuff that's coming out from Disney? And I want to give credit where it's due. My friend Christopher Rufo, he's been all over the critical race theory stuff in schools, been all over what's going on in schools. He's been all over corporate America and the rotted filth that comes out of there. And we have all this stuff, thank you to him. I want you to, I want you to watch something. And I want you to watch it very, very closely. This lady's name is Carrie Burke, corporate president for Disney. How's that Disney Plus subscription looking for yours? Kids enjoying those new Marvel movies? No, no judgment. I've had Disney Plus. We've canceled it, but I have had it. Still going to Disney World this summer? Going to take your kids out and see that new Disney movie? What's the new one coming out? Lightyear, I believe. I mean, they already announced a couple lesbians going to be kissing in it. You, you excited to take little Billy out to that? Well, here's Carrie Burke, corporate president. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually, um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Um, we have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories, and, and, and yet we don't have enough leads um, and narratives in which gay characters just, just get to be characters. Shoot. Um, the 50% of the tears, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't, we just don't allow each other to go backwards. She was crying at the end. She was so emotionally moved at the thought of pushing that stuff onto your children 
it brought her to tears. Now, I want you to think about that for a moment. There's that circus freak raising one child who's transsexual, the other one who's pansexual. I don't even know what that word means, nor do I want to know. So clearly this is a human being who pushed all this stuff onto her children. And that, that already was obviously very exciting for her, but when she thought about the opportunity to push that onto your children, oh, gosh, I need a tissue. It got her choked up. How did this happen? And I'm gonna go on, we have more video. How did we allow this to happen? The truth is, these people are much more passionate about destroying our children than we have been about saving them. Now we can beat ourselves all day long, we can beat ourselves up all day long about that. Oh dang, I, we sucked, we screwed it up. We did, we sucked, we screwed it up. Again, myself included. But, or we can sit and resolve ourselves that no more. No more will the people who want to wreck our kids be more committed than we are to saving our children. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.